Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to what shall we do next and today I'm coming back at you with another story that is kind of creepy Which is like half dream and half reality So first of all the reason I didn't post a video yesterday was because I was at my friend's house I was helping her paint uh, because she's moving into a new house So I was helping her paint the house and it's abandoned and scary and empty and it was very echoey and I got very paranoid <laughs> But before I tell you about that I want to tell you something which I think made me feel more uncomfortable in that situation than I actually was supposed to be because it really wasn't scary at all. It was just kind of funny. We were laughing and joking and then suddenly I got paranoid and freaked out. So a few days ago I had a nightmare. Now I still think it's because of the curse that unknown YT put on me but anyway I had this dream and I can't really remember. It's kind of choppy but I'll try and explain it to you because it kind of links to this real life event that took place. Um, so this was a couple of days ago. I had this nightmare where I was in some kind of courtyard area. It looked a little bit like what I would imagine like a very liminal space. I, I feel like it's something very familiar that I've seen before. Maybe it's like a liminal space picture that I've seen, but it was like a courtyard area and then like these bungalow style houses all like connected um and they all looked exactly the same and it was like a long stretch with like these orange lights and it was like everything was kind of like an orangish glow and I felt very uncomfortable then. It was nighttime. I was like outside, I think. I don't know if it was like an outdoor thing or like there was a roof that was really high up, but it was very creepy, very uncomfortable. Every single light in one of these little houses was off. There was no lights on. So it was very creepy. The only lights that was on was these lights that were outside, like those old fashioned street lamps that they had in like the real old days and they had like an orange glow to them. So everything had this like very orangish color glow. Now I don't know how I ended up inside one of these houses but I did I ended up inside one um, again there was no lights on at all except for the mirror um, in the bathroom there was like a light above the mirror one of those like fluorescent lights that is like in the back rooms where it like buzzes and stuff um, and a little pull cord to turn on the light and the the main light to the bathroom was off because most of the bathroom was in darkness and it was just this mirror that was right in front of me and it had this little fluorescent light about this long just above the mirror and the little pull cord and I was peeing at the time like I was peeing in the toilet the toilet which is kind of weird was like right the mirror was right in front of me while I was peeing so I was able to look at myself while I was peeing and I was peeing in this very dingy dimly lit bathroom while looking at myself in the mirror and behind me was the bathtub with like the shower and stuff like that so there was like a shower curtain covering the bathtub um and i could just about see that through the reflection of the mirror behind me then i suddenly hear a little girl's voice coming through um from behind me and she's saying i can't remember what she's saying um but i remember her saying something like she was very polite but it sounded like a very young little girl and she's saying um like she knew my name too she was like hi michael and i was like hello what are you doing in here and like i was being polite back even though i was fucking terrified i had such an uneasy feeling and she was like um i can't remember i don't want to make things up i want to tell you how i remember it but it's like it was something along the lines of like i remember her trying to encourage me or trying to get me to come over there to the shower curtain and open it um she's saying things like come over here come over here and like find me you know like that kind of thing um i don't remember exactly word for word what she was saying but it was something along the lines of like come over here come and like see me behind the shower but she sounded very like not like a demon or a scary girl like a very like playful child but i just had this very uncomfortable feeling and i was like uh, okay i'll play hide and seek with you no but i was like um okay just let me finish up peeing first um but i i don't know i don't really remember how i responded to her but i do remember that i was trying to play it cool and i wasn't going to show any fear um so i was responding to her as if i were talking to an actual little girl i was kind of like okay <laughs> i'll do that um but I was like, in my head, I was thinking, I'm gonna fucking run out of here any second now. When I'm done peeing, this is like the world's longest pee, it just won't end. Um, I was like, I'm gonna run out of here. I don't remember the running out of there process of leaving the bathroom, um, but I do remember being in the living room where I saw a very largely built man, a big fat man, um, dismembered in body parts on the floor. And it was very graphic. It was like literal real life stuff that I've seen on fucking... Um, 
best gore or live leak like some real shit like i uh, god it was disgusting like i saw his torso and he was dismembered there was the the arms and legs were cut off the head but the torso was there you can see it was like a man's body just a very large fat stomach which was like cut and slashed open and stuff and you could see like the white you, you could literally see the yellowish color fat um, between, if you guys have ever seen those disgusting videos, you know what's underneath the flesh. And it's not nice. I don't encourage you to go looking, but it was like very, very graphic, even for my dreams. Like I've never seen something so graphic like that. Um, just in the living room of this place. And again, the living room, I don't really remember, um, but I do remember it was very dingy and very dark. That's where it ends the dream. But I, last night I was helping my friend, um, paint the old house it's a pretty big house so i was like she showed me around i was helping her paint we started downstairs like that's all we did actually because it's a very large house so we did the hallway i did go to the bathroom which was on the second floor and while i was in the bathroom i was hearing things and i came out of the bathroom and i could hear giggling coming from my like as i left the bathroom i could hear giggling coming from the left of me which was a bedroom and the bedroom door was open and it was a very large bedroom couldn't see much in there because the light was off and i heard things moving around i heard giggling i like my heart was insanely like beating insanely fast um and i think i was just on edge anyway because of this nightmare and it was like a girl laughing sounded like to me uh, but then i could literally hear things moving around i'm like Kelsey is that you because I was thinking she was in there and she was gonna jump out and scare me um but no she called up to me she was still downstairs she was like yeah and I'm like oh that's fucking scary so I was like I'm not gonna freak out I was like oh you're still down there and I was like doing the thing that I did in the dream where I was like acting cool because I thought if it is a demon <laughs> I don't want it to like get me because I'm showing fear so I was like oh you're still down there so I wasn't acknowledging the sounds or anything um coming from this bedroom but I like walked down the stairs and I was like looking back the whole time as I was walking down I was like telling her I was like that was fucking freaky and she was like what I was like were you laughing and she said I did laugh because she dropped something and she said it made me laugh but I was like no I mean this sounded like it was coming from the fucking bedroom like I heard it coming from my left there there's stuff moving around there's a demon in there <laughs> and she's like why do you have to make everything scary mike like this was my hot like my favorite house in the world but i was like is there seriously though like being for real is there something up there that's like moving and she's like well the window's open i was like that's it the window it was blowing stuff that's what i'm gonna choose to believe <laughs> i don't want to believe anything scary but i think i was just paranoid and like freaked out anyway because this dream was really scary um, it doesn't sound as scary trying to explain it, but that's because there's parts missing But when you wake up from that, it's fucking horrible. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video Let me know in the comment section Have you ever had a dream like that where like you're in a dark bathroom or something and like Something or like you hear something talking to you and trying to trying to bribe you almost not bribe but like coerce you is that the word like trying to get you to come over to it and it's using like i was thinking it was going to be a demon i don't know what would have happened if i had opened that shower curtain um but i know it was not an innocent little girl behind there i think it was just putting on a little girl voice like they say demons will manifest as a child to to kind of make you put down your barrier your protective guard and trust it because everybody trusts a little child, like it's harmless. So I think it was like being a little girl so that I would be like, oh, it's not that scary. It's just a little girl ghost. But I open it and then a fucking horned demon pops out and eats me. Like, I'm not ready to do that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Smash a like on it and I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media or I will fucking die. Oh yeah!